clock is flashing about 5.30 right now on this frigid February 4th morning. Got about an hour and a half drive up to meet Alex and uh, a few other guys later in the weekend to uh, see if we can't pile some pike on the ice. It's my first trip and it's already February. Bad trend compared to the last three years of ice fishing for me. Would have had about a dozen and a half trips in by now, but hey, it is what it is. Everyone has their years. So, uh, yeah, we're on the going to be on some hard water that we've had pretty pretty solid luck on the past few years so that's always a confidence booster so uh should be able to rip into a few decent lips next few days and uh some good good catches on the ice and uh see what we can't do stay tuned all right it's about uh six o'clock here um just leaving campus, just hop in the truck, and we are headed west to go meet Wyatt for a weekend uh, ice fishing. It's cold, it's windy, my hand's freezing off taking this video, but finally got some decent ice, so we're gonna go get after him. See what happens, stay tuned. for the unseasoned outdoors crew. We got a shelter on the ice. And it ain't even an ice shelter. That's the thing about it. A couple overhand knots. Why I bought some ice screw things at the store the other day. Oh boy. How we do it at unseasoned outdoors. I'm gonna wrap it up for day one here. We ended up um, like two for six or something. Um, we had a couple more that took a ton of line, but just kind of get hooks in them. So we're quitting a little early. We're cold. We're gonna go back and get some dinner started, hang out at the cabin, and uh, be back at it on our big fish lake tomorrow morning with uh, Dave and whoever the heck else he ends up bringing. So. We'll see you on the ice in the morning. We just made it to the cabin and Wyatt's over here making uh, camp dinner tonight. What are we making? Oh, uh, we're making venison stew, crock pot, not really stew. You get a nice venison, liquid, nice thick, runny gravy. Throw it on a nice pile of bag mashed potatoes. Hey, we've had the debate already. We choose bag mashed potatoes over regular <laughs> dirty potatoes. So, hey, if you disagree, then you're wrong. But yeah, you get a nice pile of venison, nice Thick gravy, cream of mushroom soup, Lipton recipe. I don't know what this is, but it does the trick. Whose venison we got? Venison steak. We got this from the old Dauphin this year by yours truly. <laughs> Check it out on Seasoned Outdoors. Nice a plug. Yeah. Should be a good dinner. One of the go-to favorite venison, venison recipes for me. All so, right. uh, yeah.
You'll be ready in about four hours? Mm-hmm, something like that. What's the date? November, or not November, <laughs> February 5th, after a disappointing day of fishing yesterday. We only had those uh, two sublegal ones and a few other flags, but nothing crazy. So now we're with family members up here, a few other guys, so there's four of us today. But uh, this, this lake has done good to us in the past years, so... That's always uh that's always a plus coming up here. You got a chance at a at one that you might want to put on your wall if you are gonna get one. So if we catch fish, it might be a big one today. If not, we're used to it. We don't catch a lot of fish. So stay tuned. Fish on there? Not much of a fight. Nice fish. Decent one. Start. Twenty-three or so. Solid. Nice job. We're on the board. Yeah, little shaker. Pretty. Well, I guess this is the best tip up today. Big old slobber. Clean release. Some fish on there? I don't feel like it. That's your sucker. Well, that's a pike, ain't it? I don't think so. Yeah, there's something there. I think. I don't know what the heck happened there. Yeah, there's, there's a oh fish yeah, there's a pike on there for sure. Yeah, I'll help you. <laughs> oh, he's got a flag over there too. <laughs> <laughs> Spit it out right at the end, or was he even on there? <laughs> I think it was just the middle. <laughs> Good eye seeing that line blowing out. Yeah, I could, that, I could just see the rod bump. Yep. Thing ate a sucker about as big as itself. Live well. Yeah. 
does not feel big. Little guy. Oh, not bad though. <laughs> Decent fish. Not too bad. Cool. Take everyone we can get today. Give him a second. That's that big bait, right? Yep. Trying to decide what to do with that big old minnow. Was key on line, wasn't it? Yeah. So you can probably hold the rod. Not taking any more right now. Just sitting on it. Yeah, it could be. Nothing. Yeah. Just gotta wait, wait to it or not. Huge. Could see it. I could see it through the ice. That's yeah, cool. With that. Yeah. I think it's a keep. Yeah, he's a keeper for sure. That is awesome. You can see him way down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Trying to get a hook in my mouth. Decent little fish. Stuck his face pretty good. Sweet. Mm. Yeah, you get both hooks in him or just no, one? just the one. So, pretty cool. What's that now, number six, six for us today? Six on the day, I think. Pretty cool. Definitely the biggest so far. We'll, put, we'll measure them. Let him eat it. There he's eating it right now. Maybe. Thing. I don't want a deep hook one either, but get it going. <laughs> Come on, give me a little more. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. Good shot. Anything decent? I don't think he's big, but he ain't too bad. It's thumping hard. I wonder if it's a big bass or something. Some a little bit. I think it was a pike. Yeah. Yeah, right. 
On the board, finally. Sweet. That's a pretty fish. Probably 21 inches. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.